when you live on the road, you live outside, so you're constantly at mercy of the elements and you've got to be prepared for that. By the time we'd gotten to New South Wales, the floods had begun. We had to turn around, it was eight times that day because of flooded roads. And these were just things that we had to find out whilst we were driving, there was no pre-warning. But it did make it really challenging finding places to camp, sleep at night, having access to all the fun things that we really enjoyed um, doing while we were traveling. You really do expect your mobile phone to work in an emergency situation. You can't just rely on that. If you're following mobile mapping apps, often they'll take you places they don't know that are flooded over. So in terms of communication, we had uh, the radio in the car. We've got a UHF radio as well for short range communications where we could set it to scan through all 80 channels to see if there are any emergency broadcasting that we needed to pick up on and be aware of. We had an old AM FM radio in the, in the house that we set up and tuned into the local station and that gave us a lot of information. Every 15 minutes we were getting an update on what messages local authorities were sending out to people, whether they wanted them to leave or whether they were safe to stay and where they could go. That was a great help. That was basically the only help that we had once phones went down because emergency apps stopped working. You're really lost without that sort of technology and that quick access to information sort of becomes this combination of having to rely on multiple resources to get the information that you need. For more information, visit www.infrastructure.gov.au forward slash stand.